All right, the formula for the future value of an annuity is, we have FV, the future value is equal to A, this is our annuity, this is how much we're gonna be depositing at the end of each year, times a few other things, we'll have one plus I, all to the power of N minus one over I. Okay, so this is the formula for the future value of an annuity. I've written down this stuff, uh, just so you don't have to watch me write it again. Um, F is the future value, A is the amount of money we're going to deposit at the end of each year, I is the annual interest rate, and N is the number of years. So just, uh, let's do an example here. Let's say that we have, uh, we want to invest $12,000 a year. You know, we want to save up about $1,000 a month, and at the end of each year, deposit that $12,000 into a savings account. So we'll say we have $12,000. Uh, let's say that our interest rate is 3%. Not bad, I think interest rates around my place give you about 1%, so this is pretty, this is pretty decent. Uh, in the formula, we express this as about 0 0.3. Uh, and this always changes, right? Who knows, but 3% is just what we're gonna use for the example. And let's say we're gonna invest this for, we're gonna invest $12,000 a year for let's say 30 years. Okay, you know, this is maybe for your retirement or something like that. So we'll say that, uh, maybe, I'm not sure how much space we're gonna need, so we'll say FV. Uh, we're gonna have, well, first of all, our, our annuity is $12,000, so $12,000 times, now what are we gonna have, we will have 1 plus 0 0.03, all raised to the power of 30. And then we're going to subtract 1 from that. And then we'll put this over 0 0.03. <clears throat> okay, so if we just simplify this a little bit, we'll get 12,000 is times, uh, this will turn out to be about, this term up here, uh, this will be about 2.42. And there's a few more decimal places, but that's just, you know, you can check if you're doing this problem as well. Minus 1 over 0 0.03. Uh, and then we'll find, once we solve for all of this, we'll find that the future value of, you know, this annuity or this all these investments that we've been making is going to equal 570, uh, $570,904. That is definitely not a 4. Uh, and 98 cents. So this is how much money you'll have at the end of 30 years. Uh, and now just to put this into perspective, uh, uh, to put this into perspective, uh, this means that you've invested, you've actually taken $360,000 of your own money, right? Because that's uh, 12,000 times 30 years. So that's actually how much money you've put in. Um, and then the amount of interest you've got as well, just 570,000, uh, 570,000 minus 360,000. So you'll actually, you know, for not doing anything other than giving the bank your money, you'll get $210,904 and looks like 98 cents. So not bad, $210,000 for, you know, not actually having to work that much, uh, as long as you can come up with $300, you know, or $360,000 across 30 years like this. And just for fun, um, now that I have you here, what if you have what if you have this future value here? So now you're 30 years into the future, and maybe you just want to leave this in the bank or something for another 10 years. You want to stop investing. Say you started when you're 20, you invested uh, for 30 years, and now you're 50 years old and you have this much money. You say, hey, I'm not going to retire till I'm 60, but uh, you know I want to make some interest on this too. So uh, let's say you still make 3%. Um, so you could say you have. Now we can use your old compound interest formula and say future value is equal to present value times one plus i to the n. We're gonna leave it in here for another 10 years. So we'll now have 570,905 dollars. Let's round that up. Times 1.03 to the 10, right? We just added the interest to one to the power of 10 years. Uh, so if you just left this for another 10 years, you're going to get $767,248.57.
cents, if you don't ignore the fact that I just rounded up there. Um, so that's not bad. You'll actually get another $196,000 uh, on top of this just for you know keeping this in the bank for another 10 years. So something to think about if you're considering to retire at some point in your life.